little third party followers. Um, so this one is for you lot out there that your person is with someone else. What we are going to do is we are going to go into your energy, we're going to go into their energy, we're going to go to the people they're with's energy, and we're going to do two separate spreads per deck. One is going to be about you and them, and one is going to be about the person that they are with and them. Okay, so we're going into your energy, current energy with them and their person, and current energy between you and them. So, kind of like two spreads per, per deck, really. I just realised my hair sticking out. Two sets per deck, okay? So this is deck number one, and this is deck number two. I want you to think about you, um, and I want you to think about your person. Try not to think about the emotions, just think about them. And then, if you can just have a quick thought about the person that they are with, and then we can cut that thought out. Okay, that's it. Number one, number two, we're going. Um, also, before I start this, anyone that writes any judgmental comments underneath, uh, your comments are just going to get deleted because this is a channel where people, I don't like people that have got judgments anyway, they're not my type of people because uh, anyone that puts judgments on other people really hasn't got a grasping on spiritual truth and spiritual connections. So, if you have judgmental comments, either keep them to yourself or put them on there and I'll just delete them for you. Okay, number one. <laughs> Okay, can you get me into the energy of deck number one? The people can be really judgment judgmental about things that they haven't understood, things that they haven't been involved with. Um, obviously, when pain and suffering happens to other people, it, they can struggle with situations, but this channel's here to help all of you. So, judgmental comments get deleted. Okay, think about your person. Can we get the energy of that? And... Let's link their person's energy to the person that they are currently with energy. So we're going to do five cards per, per spread here. Okay. Right, let's go. Can you tell me what the current energy is? We'll start off with you guys. Between you, uh, the people watching and their people, what's their current energy? One. I haven't used this deck in ages and it was calling me this morning. So I was like, we're having that one. Current energy between them and their person. Four. It's too many. One more. Let's move deck two. Get in the way. Okay, six. Apparently we're having six. Okay, and what is the current energy of their person and the karmic energy person that they are with? What is the energy of that? One. So, it will work, as always, it's going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Um, regardless of your individual circumstances, but I know this is like a third party circumstance. But depending on whether you're in contact, not in contact, whether it's working, whether it's not working, whatever's happening. Them and the person that we are with. Three. So the first thing that my guide is saying to me as I'm pulling these cards is that they would choose you in a heartbeat. However, circumstances, this is a big deck, circumstances are making it not so easy. So the reason why you two are kind of the way you are is because the love between the two of you is extremely strong. Um, it's a very, very strong love that you two share, um, and it's not something that's going to fade overnight, it's not something that can easily just get sorted, um, and the reason why you two aren't together is nothing really to do with the love, it's not to do with, um, sometimes it can have a little bit of distrust going on between the two of you, but largely it's circumstantial that the two of you aren't together. Now I know that sounds like pretty basic because we know that they're with someone else, but actually if you go back beyond that, circumstances is what is stopping the two of you coming together it's not really anything about their love for you it's not about their feelings for you if there wasn't someone else or mainly kids if kids weren't involved in the situation they would be with you in a heartbeat okay so let's look the, the more gossipy side you want to do let's look at them and the person that they are with 
So they are ticking things along in this relationship at the moment. They are feeling very burdened by what's happening. They look at their piercing, uh, look in their eyes, and you know, it's really not a fulfilling relationship. They feel very fed up with it all, um, but they don't really know how to break out of it at this moment in time. They want to make moves towards you. They want to come and give you like this knight in shining armor, come and offer you the complete and utter world, but this is holding them back. Something else that is holding them back as well is because of what they've done and how they are and who they're with they have this little bit of concern about trust between the two of you and would you ever be able to trust them would they ever be able to trust you it's not a massive thing that's happening but you do need to be aware of it so that's kind of coming up in this in your person and the person they're with's energy so they're feeling very heavily burdened by it at the moment they're also feeling chained very very chained they're feeling like they want to be free and they can't be um, and with this relationship and where this relationship is going, the outcome I haven't pulled, I'm afraid, but with that, this is just your the current energy. With this, they're feeling very chained to it. They do want some space, some freedom, and they cannot get it in this relationship. Sometimes your person likes to pretend that they are single and that the person that they are with does not really exist, and that just kind of goes to show how irrelevant their feelings are for one another, but they do feel chained by this kind of cosmic connection that they've got to stay where they are at this moment a lot of water between the bridge between you and him uh, them sorry lads between you and them as well very chained very very stuck in this relationship that they're involved in very heavily burdened and concerned that if you two came together there would be a lack of trust now the person that they are with has kind of got their goat up a little bit they're not feeling particularly happy by the relationship and they are watching what they are up to your the person that they are with is quite conniving i've just said and can be a little bit manipulative as well almost as if they would use things as a weapon to control the situation so an example of that would be if your person has got kids kids could be used as a weapon and that is what's fr frightening your person from making these moves away from the situation they know that they have to make a choice on it um, but they feel like at this moment in time that they're not quite ready to do that they want to get themselves more stable they want to get themselves more secure and then through that, that's when they're feeling like they can arise and, and make these choices and make these decisions. But with your person, um, the person they're with, let's call the person they're with the karmic, so it, it makes more sense. So with the karmic person that they are with, um, this karmic is watching what they're up to. It's what they're watching what's actually happening in the relationship. And so your person isn't getting the freedom that they feel that they want very very chained very very stuck and, and really struggling to kind of break out of this cycle with the person that they are with so not happy really fed up by everything um you know as well you might be feeling fed up for the spirit saying you might be feeling fed up with the situation but equally they are as well because they aren't where they want to be they're not where they want to be they want to be moving things forward with you but they've just got this commitment and connection with this person that they are with uh, that they can't seem to break away from and again with the com commitment mate speaks for itself with connection it's because they'll have stability they'll have security they'll have all these kind of earthly boxes ticked with this person whether intimacy is involved or not a lot of them aren't intimate with their person um but they're trying to just keep this facade of what's going on you know facade of everything's great everything's perfect but underneath it all they really do feel like it's it's dead it's kind of like there's been nothing left to grow and as the wind as the seasons do change spirit is saying as the seasons do change so will this relationship and you know it's it will go it's that it's barren you know and when spring happens they know that there's going to be new choices new chances and new opportunities that they're going to have to reach out or they're going to be stuck in this dead end cycle for quite some time so they're feeling very limited, limited in their choices, limited in their um, options, limited on how to actually break away, limited because money and stability and children are being brought into it. How could they cope on their own? What would happen? Also, um, what you know, what they'd love to do is just snap their fingers, wake up and everything would be changed around them. But they can't do that. They've got to kind of ride the motions of it out. And this is where the stumbling block is. But do take heart that this relationship is pretty, pretty barren. It's pretty dead end. And yes, it should be as simple as them going, no, I'm going to change it. I'm not happy. But when they have commitments and they have all this stuff that they feel that they need to sort out or, you know, when they have all of that, 
commitments, what they want to sort out. If the person, you know, they've, they've made these life goals and they can't just, they suddenly, they feel, your person feels that they can't break away from it all. And that's where the stagnant energy is at the moment. Now, they will make a choice on it, but depending on where you are at that point in time, the most likely outcome of this is that it won't work. But it's also equally not coming to a close yet. Um, if you wanted to look at individual timings and individual circumstances, just give me a holler. But your mutual energy on that is a the bloody temperance card. It's a not yet. Fed up, miserable, lonely, feeling chained. The person that they are with is watching their every move, seeing what they're up to. Now, the, the person that they are with also has this kind of gut intuition that something hasn't been right for some time. And your person might have gone back to try and make it, say you two broke, broke up as an example. They might have gone back to try and fix it in that relationship. But again, it's dead on the inside. They are staying because of security, stability and commitments that they have made, that they have this moral obligation to stay. Um, and they're doing it, what they believe is for the right reasons. That's their judgment on their self. You know, they're trying to do it for the right reasons. Um, but if they lose you and, and lose you for good, this is really going to eat them up for the rest of their days. <laughs> but that's where their energy is. That's what's currently happening with the person that they are with. Very low frequency. Very kind of friendship energy. Rather than romance and passion and you know, maybe even a few arguments, this, that and the other, it's very, it's, it's like they give up, like they don't really care. That's what the person's, in a, what they're like with the person they are with. Um, your side of things, your person isn't committing to you, this we already know, okay, so at the moment, if you're expecting them to suddenly wake up tomorrow and say, oh yeah, let's be together, let's make it work, everything's going to be happy and brilliant and perfect, this is your non-committal card. Now, don't freak out. They're, they are not playing you. They genuinely do have very, very strong emotions for you. Um, and they, they're they kind of seeking this escapism through you as well. So what's happening in this dead-end relationship over here, you guys, you set their soul on fire. And when you set their soul on fire, there really isn't anywhere for them to run and hide apart from here. They... Again, they want to end this relationship with the person they're with, but they don't really know how. So they're holding on to it at the moment in time, but their love for you is extremely strong. But so whilst this is happening, that lack of commitment is happening as well. Um, now, if your person is saying to you, like you are in a relationship with them, even though they are with someone else, if that's happening, um, please bear in mind that you are their one and only other than the person that they are with. You are basically their one and only. They're not seeing anyone else. Nothing really underhanded is happening. So if you've got levels of distrust that it's not just you, the majority, your collective energy is that, no, it, it, it kind of is just you and the person they are with. So don't get your knickers in a twist, get freaked out, especially if you guys aren't in contact. You have a lot of fears surrounding this relationship. They have a lot of fears surrounding the relationship between you and them. They're concerned, they're worried, um, and you definitely balance each other's energies out to a certain degree a lot of this is going to be a kind of twin flame relationship with age gaps as well between the two of you um you're going to be as well as there's kind of a need that you want you you guys actually want different things and again it's circumstantial it's not about the love between the two of you so for an example of that would be there's an age gap you want children they've already had children it's just an example, but that's what we mean about it being circumstantial. It's not about the two love that the two of you share, because you do have a very strong connection. You do have an overwhelming love between each other, and you have amazing potential for this to go the distance. And But this, this fear-based energy is what's blocking it over in this pile. Um, again, this is what I've just mentioned, that, that you, some of you do, you kind of do want different things, and you would almost change your life to be with this person at this moment in time. But remember that they've got to kind of balance that energy out as well. It's not all give from your part. You've got to take as well. Okay, so if you're giving and giving and giving and nothing is happening, just take a step back and reanalyze where you are and what you want. Um, you make each other extremely happy when things are good. They're really good. When things are bad, they're awful. Um, but again, the love between the two of you is really strong. Um, very strong spiritual connection, very yin and yang energy, very erotic and passionate and um, strong-willed, strong mind, determined people. And this is kind of why sometimes you two can have quite tension, quite a lot of tension is probably the right thing to say. Um, 
but you really do set each other's souls on fire. You know, you have this very strong, passionate energy and they do love you. They've never experienced a love like it. You know, normally they could just get rid of someone. They would just go, no, that's it, job done, connection is over, um, ciao, adios, see you later, you know, it would be done. But with you, they've tried to break away the cycle. Even you guys, a lot of you have tried to break away from this cycle and you keep coming back towards one another. You keep gravitating towards each other like magnets. You, you come towards each other, then something will happen and you will repel one another and you're kind of stuck in that energy of here and there and back and forth. Um, but the, the main objective of this is that the two of you, you have got your love and it is uh, circumstantial reasons that you can't be together just yet. Now the overall future of it all is going to be variant on if your person is kind of brave enough to step out of this mould, to step away from this person. Um, most likely outcome for the majority of you is later down the line, this isn't going to work between the two of them because it's dead. It's already dead. It's barren. It, nothing can really evolve from it. And you know, it, you know yourself. If you've been in this stagnant third party kind of energy, that well, nothing is happening, and you don't feel that you are evolving or moving forward with your person, you get really fed up. You get really sick of it, and you think, oh God, you know, another night on my own. They should be here. They should be doing this, and I'm sitting here, and I want to move forward with my life. Um, and you feel that you can't. So. They're stagnated being stuck where they are, and that's also stagnating your energy as well. So really, the, the overall outcome of these two, majority of you, is that at some point in the future, it's not going to work, because how many times can you stay stagnant and not let your life move forward? With the person watching them, with their, their other person watching them as well, it really is taking away the stability, the security, um, and, it, and it, it's too dark you know it's dark for them with you two now whether you choose to stay with this person whether you choose to walk away that's going to be completely up to you but remember with the more spiritual connections you two will always be in and out of each other's lives so even if you're not in contact at the moment even if you've walked away from it your person will keep coming back in to check on you as you will them it will get to that point where you miss them or they miss you and that connection will restart and re-trigger until something happens here and again that's because this relationship is not working due to circumstances not because of love it's stuff that's happened in the past it's stuff where they are that your current situation and their current situation um, and lack of trust potentially lack of trust your person is very overwhelmed as a whole very deeply in the shit with it all and they don't know which way to turn all they know is they're not particularly happy but they're trying to um, just keep the keep everything stable keep everything secure they're a sucker for change they don't like making changes they don't like their life being turned upside down whereas the majority of you are quite happy to just go and grab the bull, bull by the horns and put your big girly slash boy pants on and go yeah you know what I'm not happy let's do something about it but your person is from a different kind of kettle of fish and, and they don't like changes um, and they don't like um, people to throw again judgments kind of coming in they don't want people to throw judgments on them about oh my god you left your person for this person yada 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 um, because again that limits them and it makes them feel bad and guilty for what they've kind of done not your shit not your shit at all it's your person's shit um don't take it into your energy how things would go and how things would react most likely outcome is these two will break up now whether you will be there at the end of it that's going to be down to you guys again this is your strongest mutual energy so if you needed to look at your individual circumstances just give me a shout but please note that your person isn't happy where they are so don't make two and two in your head and add 30 and then think oh my god they're so so happy where they are not true. Don't let your fears get involved either. Okay, that's deck number one. Right, hello my beauties, let's do deck number two. So, this is the strongest mutual energy reading as we always work, but we're going to go into your people's energy, your energy and the person they're with, and we're going to do five cards on each. So, five cards for the person that they are with, and five cards for you and them. Okay. Here we go. Can you think about your person, please? Can we get into the collective energy of that? And let's link their person's energy to the person that they are with. Uh, 
to make this a little easier, I'm going to call the person that they are with the karmic energy. Okay, uh, it's just going to, because I'd like to say you, the person they're with, them, you know, three people in one spread, it, it's quite intense. So can you tell me what's happening with the karmic energy and their person, your person? What's the current energy between the karmic and the person? The delight. Oh my, oh my. So, spirit of muttering away in my ear as I'm pulling this towards you. Now, the first thing that they are saying um, is that you guys are kind of seeing things all over Facebook or social media that are saying that this relationship is exceedingly happy, that they're very much in love, that everything's great, everything's phenomenal, they've booked holidays, look how wonderful we are, aren't we the best, aren't we totally amazing? Now, what's happening with that is they... I'm going to do your, I'll talk you through these, then I'll do yours. Um, what's happening with that is you're, the person they are with, this karmic energy, is going to your person and looking for reassurance, okay? So this relationship is quite strained at the moment. So you're, the karmic, the person they are with, is going up to your person and saying, reassure me, what's happening? What's going on? Why are you being distant? Why are you withdrawing? Why don't I spend time with you? Why don't you cuddle me? Why aren't we talking? Basically is a short, okay? And what's happening from that is your person is not giving them the reassurance that they need. So then they're going onto social media and saying, oh look, look how amazing we are. And really, the karmic is looking for reassurance elsewhere because they're not getting it from the person they're with. And please take note, spirit saying, of the body language as well. Because if the karmic has like got their arm on their shoulder, or you know, touching their face or something along those lines. What's happening there is they're saying, this is mine, get your mittens off, and there's a threat, okay? So the person that they are with, this karmic energy is feeling threatened at the moment. It's not their fault. They don't really know the ins and outs of it. They don't technically know that you exist, majority of you, some of them do, but technically, the whole of you, they don't know you exist, um, but they do feel threatened. They do feel something isn't right. And a lot of them, um, the more female energies, again, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific, but this karmic energy is coming through largely as a female energy. And therefore, spirit are saying this karmic energy has really got this gut instinct that something isn't quite right. No matter how they try to mask it, no matter how your person is masking this energy, it's not working. So therefore, the karmic person is trying to make these offerings to your person and be like, I love you. Be with me let's make everything amazing let's go on holiday um let's do this let's do that why you know trying to really get this relationship working and your person has kind of gone mm -hmm. well we'll just see what happens let's just go over i'm not really that bothered um and and it's making the karmic energy really miss them and really long for it's quite sad really really miss them really long for them and really want this relationship to work so this is why they're putting an effort in to make it work, coming up with all these little offerings, offerings of stability, offerings of security. And again, examples would be holiday, um, night away, gigs, anything along those lines to really make the relationship work. Um, but it's not because they know in their instinct that something isn't right. And with the Ten of Swords, it's kind of saying this is like the final chapter. Now, it feels like a lot of you with this deck, the pers your person might have gone back to this person, back to the karmic. Um, reason for that, kind of a bit like deck number one, is the comfort blanket. It's This is the, um, you are, deck number two, is the stiletto and the comfy slipper. You are the beautiful, sparkly, comfy, and the Chanel, Kurt, uh, Kurt Geiger, stiletto with sparkles worth millions of pounds amazing beautiful stiletto and the person that they are with is a comfy slipper that's good for cold nights it's got a few holes in it it's not really a turn on it's just there it's that that it's there it has stability it has security and it has comfiness and that is how your person views the karmic energy. There is no love from your person to the karmic, but the karmic does love your person. And that's why they're really making an effort to see if they can make it work, which is sad, really. Um, sometimes they can feel that this is working. Sometimes the karmic can feel that this relationship is working. But majority of the time, your person really is just kind of being ignorant to it all, putting their hands up and saying, no, if you know what? Um, yeah it is what it is and they just kind of go with the flow of it really are just riding it out um 
trying to suffer their losses, your person is feeling a little bit um, like they've made a bad mistake in getting involved with this person, but they don't really know how to break out of it. And again, the reason for that with this deck is because of guilt, because this person that they are with really does love them and they don't know how to break away from that. They don't want to hurt anyone. Um, and they're not realizing that in the process, they are the ones that are getting hurt. Tough, tough. Um, it's not horrific between them and the person they are with, but it's not really great either. It's comfy. Um, and this, the person that they are with, this karmic energy, really is trying to get this to work. Let's see if there's an outcome. Let me try to get an outcome. What's the outcome? Collective outcome for the person that they are with, the karmic. Jealousy, insecurity, concern, fears, crying over spilt milk, turning their back on them, um, really both fighting different battles. Third party, which is your energy that's coming in. And a new passionate beginning. So regardless, there is no cards of breaking up with this deck at this moment in time. Again, we'd have probably have to look at that in your individual circumstances. This is your collective time, your collective one. So half of you, there probably is a breakup. Half of you, there isn't a breakup. Um, again, we'd have to look at that in individual readings. Your collective reading, um, what the outcome of this is, is that you are involved in this. Um, and that whether they choose to stay with this person or whether they choose to be with you, you and your person can have a passionate relationship. Um, but with them and the person that they are with, there is still going to be that jealousy. There is still going to be that seed in the karmic's mind. And that karmic energy is still going to be wanting to see what's happening between um, you and them. Is there someone else involved watching them, seeing what they're up to, really spying on them? Um, not making their life easy and from there depending on where the situation goes that's when it will be a breakup or staying together again there is no mutual energy on it we'd have to look at it on individual readings but that's what the current energy is with your person and the person that they are with okay let's let's do yours and your their person's energy so can you tell me let me just can you tell me please what is the collective energy of the people watching and their person. What's the collective energy on that relationship? It's hard when there's a lot of people involved in this, how to um, how to word it properly with the card. Spirit know what I'm talking about. What's the collective energy? Okay. So shit has hit the fan for a lot of you and this is why we're saying they might have gone back to the person, um, might have gone back to the this karmic energy um because they haven't really known how to handle the situation your people have been feeling quite pressured by you as a whole unable to make the choices unable to make the decisions that you are requiring from them so a lot of shit has hit the fan um whilst they're not committing to you you feels like you have been committing to them and it's really kind of left you feeling uncertain unsure and uh, unaware what you're meant to be doing, what direction you're meant to be going in, and it's really this kind of confusing energy around it. So it's like your person, you guys have had this tower moment, or about to have this tower moment, and your person has kind of floated away from the troubles, or about to float away from the troubles. Um, try to, if you can, not um, think about the person that they are with, okay? And I know that sounds really, really easy, but it, and I'm really, I know that it's not going to be easy, but if you involve, if you start thinking about them and the karmic and what they're doing, who they're with, are they holding hands, are they kissing, are they doing this, are they snuggling up, what you're going to end up doing is manifesting the two of them being together. So as soon as those thoughts kind of come into your thought process, remember you only have 17 seconds to deal with, try and distract yourself and do something new. Um, the relationship with you and them really isn't about the person they are already with. It's kind of two different subjects. You are tied in together, obviously. Um, but if you can try and view it as two separate situations, it kind of will help ease your energy a little bit. Your person doesn't know how to handle the situation with you. They know that you want everything from them. They know you want it right here, right now. And a lot of your people are kind of in this sexual energy towards you. Um, they mask their emotions for you by working with the sexual energy and they can be a little bit withdrawing with that towards you. reason for that is because if they start to get emotional with you and really let you in on their heart, um, they're going to feel vulnerable. They're going to feel that um, 
that you could hurt them at any point because you are free you can do what they what you want and they are stuck where they are stuck you know so they actually are a little bit jealous of you a little bit envious that you can do anything you want and they have to stay where they are so with that the sexual energy can come to the forefront because they're scared that they could lose you at any point in time and if they let you in on their emotions which is what you guys want to hear um if they let you in on that they start to feel vulnerable and frightened that they're going to get hurt because you could just leave them be and let them go you could go see other people because technically whilst they're still with their this karmic you're free and single to do as you wish unless you're with someone else yourself <laughs> you know um they see that you want everything right here, right now, and they're struggling to give you that at this moment in time. Uh, there is a love between the two of you, but this situation shit's kind of really hit the fan or about to hit the fan for you both uh, because you guys watching are at the end of your tether. You do love one another, but you're feeling that this, this person, this karmic energy is a massive block in the two of you coming together. Um, and it is at the moment... But there's a period of transformation happening. The love between the two of you is extremely real. This is your karmic in the middle holding you two apart. But with the love over here, again, really focus on you and your person, not the person that they are with. Because that's just going to really weigh down on your mood, weigh down on your energy. Um, there is an opportunity here for the two of you to come together. Again, collective mutual energy for your individual situations would have to look at it. Depending on what actions your person takes with the person that they are with, you have your chance over here with this person. So even if they floated away to the back of beyond for this time being, they will come back towards you. Um, they will offer you what they can at this moment in time. They will give you what they can. And until they make those choices and changes, you're going to be in this stagnant kind of energy. But do know that they love you. They do love you. Um, and they are trying their best. And just as you are finding it hard spirit telling me to tell you that they are finding it equally as hard as you but you're not seeing it from their perspective because from your perspective you're like well you're already with someone else you can't find it that hard because you've got everything you want you've got your cake and eating it but really if you go back to the slipper they're not happy reluctant to make changes um because because again slipper comfortable secure and you haven't got that security with them, but you have got that love and that passion. And that's why they will mask the, their heart-centered energy with sexual energy for you. There is a chance between the two of you. We've just got to get this, all this shit out first. And that's step number two. So remember that is your collective mutual energy between you all. If you want to book a private reading to look at your situations uh, individually, just drop me an email. I'll put all the stuff in the description. Um, and the website i'll put it all in the description for you take care my beauties uh try not to force your energy onto your person try not to think about the person they are with really distract yourself and take it back to that essence of love which is you and them all right guys lots of love take care bye <laughs>